guys welcome back to my channel Damaris here so guys I've been getting a large amount of requests on how I do my brows so I decided to go ahead and record a video showing you guys how I fill in my brows and what I use step by step so if you guys are interested to see how I get my brows stay tuned just showing you here what my brows look like done with my brow pomade ah and this is what I look like without an eyebrow um, as you can see, my eyebrows are extremely sparse. I am missing a lot of hairs. I have some spots that have no hair at all. I'm going to be brushing through so you guys can see how thin my brows are. Um, I used to shave them completely once upon a time and draw them in with a pencil. Um, and I have let them grow, um, grow in. And this is what I've gotten. Um, and I do usually shade them in be before I remove any hair because I don't want to pull out any extra hair. So starting with the Anastasia brow pencil, I'm sorry, brow brush in the number seven. This is the double sided. It has a spoolie on one side and a brush on the other. This is what I'm going to use to fill in my brows. Also going in with the Anastasia brow pomade. And this is my favorite brow product and I'm in the color ebony which is a dark um a little darker than a, the dark brown and this is what's left with this um it's gonna last me a while the product that I have just in the middle of the pot that I'm just picking up that product alone right there in the middle will last me at least three maybe four uses because a little bit of this product definitely goes a long way so notice I'm not starting all the way in the front of my brows. I start right at this angle here. And I take the brush and I brush it straight back. Then I go back in and then I fix my, um, my tail of my brow. Always start here. I never start in the beginning of the brow. Then I'm not picking up any extra product. I'm using whatever's on my brush. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line at the top of the brow. Then whatever product again that's left on the brush, you'll see I'll be fading it into the brow and just um, filling in any uh, bald spots in my brow. Some spots I actually have to create. Obviously my brows don't look perfect. Because, like I said, I used to shave my eyebrows off completely. Now I take, again, whatever's left on my brush. And I start from the beginning. And I go ahead and draw in my shape. And fade it in lightly. The reason I leave that part for last is because I like the faded look in the beginning of my brows. In the front, I don't like my brows to be dark all the way through. Even though my brows aren't um, always dark, the only time I go for really dark, exaggerated looks is if I'm going out somewhere and I want more of a defined, darker brow. But usually, I just use a little bit of product to fill in my brows and just give it a basic look. And then here, I'm just using the spoolie at the end of the brush just to brush through any products Um through the the hairs and you see there I'm liking the way it looks now going in with this flat definer brush by Sigma it's an E15 and this is a flat um, brush and it's very it makes it very easy to clean up your brows Now I'm going with this concealer. This one is from the Photo Focus line, the Wet n Wild line. And this one is the lightest shade they provide. Um, I do love this concealer. I use this also to conceal underneath of my eyes. So it is all around a great concealer. And I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I just pick up a little bit of product onto the brush. And I'm going to use that to clean up my brows.
and because the brush is very precise I'm just going to draw a line underneath of my brow And putting this concealer underneath of the brows actually actually gives it a cleaner look. It gives it the appearance um, of like a fresh wax look. Um, also, the lighter color actually highlights the brow bone and just makes it um, makes your eye look a little brighter. Excuse my voice, guys. I know it sounds a little raspy i'm actually just getting my voice back that's why i haven't really recorded but um to continue with this after i make that line underneath the brow i don't want to leave that um amount of concealer there so i just take that brush and i pull down the product then i use my finger because the warmth of your finger is going to help the concealer blend in easier to your skin and i'm just going to blend that out very well and then to finish it off sometimes I like to add the a clear um, gel I don't necessarily always use a brow gel sometimes I use like a cover girl um, clear mascara i know elf has one as well just a clear uh, mascara just to tame the hairs down a little bit sometimes i did, do get some hairs that sometimes stick up but in this case i'm just applying it just to show you guys what i do but again it's just not an everyday thing i don't do it all the time all right guys so this is one way that i do my brows now I want to show you how um, I do my brows using a pencil. Now this pencil is by Ruby Kisses. You can find this at your local hair supply store. And this one is in the shade dark brown. And this one comes with a sharpener on one side. And then the other side has a spoolie. So it makes it very easy to apply. And I like to always make sure that my point is pretty much pointy um, I don't like it to be flat because then my line doesn't come out the way I want it to and I usually do my brows with the pencil when either I don't wear makeup and I want to wear some brows because I'm not a fan of going out with my brows looking bald like this so I do take a pencil and just um, shade them in a little bit so this is the way I do my brows when I'm not wearing any makeup or even for those days that I'm just wearing a BB cream or some kind of light coverage look on my face. Then I'll go in with a simple brow. And notice I did the same thing I did with the pomade. I added the, most of the darkness um, to the back of the brow and then in the front just a little tad bit and... I brush the product through with the spoolie and this gives it a very natural appearance. The pencil, um, it's a little bit more thicker and harder to work with. Um, but if you're looking for a natural look, a more natural type of look, I would definitely say that the pencil is going to give you uh, more of that look than a pomade. The pomade is thicker and darker. Then again, I'm repeating the same steps with my Sigma um, flat brush and my wet and wild photo focus concealer just cleaning up underneath and as you can see the concealer definitely makes a big difference when um, cleaning up the brows it just makes it so much brighter and it makes it look like I just got my eyebrows waxed which I haven't um, I actually pluck my own eyebrows but yeah And then just going back in with the spoolie and just making sure everything looks um, the way I want it. Now guys, just keep in mind, this is the way that I do my eyebrows. Not everybody does their eyebrows exactly the same. Not everybody has the same taste. On, the, on your left, where I have my eyeshadow done, I have my brow pomade. And then on the opposite side, I have the ruby kisses um pencil now here i just want to show you guys a couple items that i use very affordable some are very affordable this is the ulta brow pomade and this was recommended to me 
by a friend on a makeup group page that I'm on, City of Beauty. And then this one is my ultimate favorite, my Anastasia Brow Palmade in the shade Ebony. That is definitely my favorite. I also have tried the one by Milani. Um, it does work okay. Um, the only thing I don't like about the Milani one is that the product dries out in the pot. And then you have to throw it away or find a way to revive it. Then, of course, my pencil, which I love. And these are basically the products that I use. I hope you guys enjoy.